Hello and welcome to another data structure. And then today we're going to be going over general trees. Now, we're just going to be going over uh, the basic concepts of a tree data structure so that you um, have the foundation for when we go over to more complex ones. Okay, so we're going to go over the basic functionality and some terminology that you need to know before and, and understand before we go uh, more in depth with other tree structures. Okay. Okay, so what exactly is a tree? Well, typically, we think of arrays and linked lists. That's what, we, that's what we've probably gone over. And that's the basics of computer science for data structures. Uh, and there's a, those are considered linear structures because there's always before and there's an after, OK? Uh, a tree is considered nonlinear because it also has an above and below, OK? Uh, so this is kind of like a more natural organization of data. Uh, it looks kind of like a hierarchical structure. And each of these um, elements, so like electronics, are us, sales, purchasing, uh, these are called nodes within a tree, OK? Uh, there are some really common ones that you can probably um, think of, like file systems. Uh, websites even have them. Uh, databases use this. Um, GUIs, graphical uh, user interfaces, and a lot of other systems use a tree structure, OK? So when we think of a tree, the first thing you understand is the top element is always going to be the root element, okay, or the node. We're going to call them nodes, but sometimes uh, we can say elements as well. Um, and then besides the root, all other nodes have a parent node and zero or more children nodes, okay? So that basically means uh, sales, for instance. Um, this node can have zero or more children nodes, so it has two in this case. Sales goes down into domestic and international. If we look at R and D, this still satisfies it because it actually has zero children nodes, and that satisfies a basic tree. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is go over some some more in depth terminology. All right. So we're going to take a look at the same tree structure, and let's go over the first thing, and that is the siblings. So these are two child nodes with the same parent. So in this case, we could um, we could say look at domestic and international. These are siblings because they have the same parent node, sales. Okay, we could also look at um, sales, purchasing, and R and D. These are all siblings to each other because they have the same parent, electronics are us. All right. Now, if you look at an external node. This is when a node has zero children. So domestic, international, TV, CD, and tuner are all external nodes because there are no children nodes, OK? Now, on the, on the flip side, internal nodes have at least one child. So they can have one or more children. So sales is an internal node because it has two children. Uh, manufacturing is an internal node because it has at least one ch child node. It has three, actually. And likewise, R&D and purchasing are also external nodes because they have zero children. Now, ancestor, this is a node that's connected to all lower level nodes, OK? So for instance, electronics are us is an ancestor to sales and domestic, interna domestic international uh, purchasing, R&D, basically, the root node is always an ancestor, almost almost always an ancestor, unless it's the only node in the tree. OK, so if we take a look at TV, uh, which is an external node, its ancestors are manufacturing and electronics are us. OK, and it's the same. Actually, it's the same for CD and tuner. If we look at international, which is, again, is an external node, its ancestors are sales and electronics are us. OK. Now, let's take a look at descendant, which is the converse of that. This is a node of a lower level to ones above it. OK, so if you take a look at sales, its descendants are domestic international. Uh, manufacturing has three descendants, TV, CD, and tuner. OK, really, the ancestor one we really have to understand because uh, we can make two calculations for trees. and. They are the, we can calculate the depth and depth of a node and the height of the tree. 
So the depth is the number of ancestors, ancestors of a node other than itself. So let me get this ready. So if we take a look at uh, domestic, okay, so we're gonna take a look at this node. We're gonna calculate the depth of it. Uh, so it's the number of ancestors of a node other than itself. So it has two ancestors, sales and electronics are us. So the depth is two, okay? Fairly straightforward, but if you were to label, so this is, these are all levels, okay? So electronics RS, R us is on the Zurich level, manufacturing, purchasing, sales, R&D is on the, on the first level, and so forth, okay? The depth, you could, um, you could see this lines up here. So we could say, you could think of it this way, and domestic, international, TV, CD, and tuner um, all have a depth of two, okay? Now, if we look at, if we look at, let's say, uh, inter uh, purchasing, this just has a depth of one because it only has one ancestor. All right. So let's say D equals one. Now, when we say the height of a tree, this is just the maximum depth of a tree. So we, we kind of already calculated this. If we look at domestic again, its depth is two. Well, there are no other, there's no uh, third level that has um, nodes on it. So we just know that the height of this tree is also equal to two. All right, I'll kind of go over this again in another slide, but uh, these are these are basic uh, terminology terminologies that you need to know. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. And there's a couple of different kinds of trees. Well, there's many different kinds of trees, but... Um, there's two different categories, ordered and unordered. An ordered tree is a tree is considered ordered if it has a meaningful um, linear order among the children of each node. Okay, so let's take a look at book. All right, let's look at all its children nodes as uh, preface, part A, part B, and references. Those are all the children nodes of book. These are in a specific linear order. Uh, as if you were looking at a book, if you're opening up, this is kind of um, a basic order that it, you would flip through the book as, okay? So this is considered ordered because the children of a node are in a specific order, okay? So then if you look at part A, it has three children nodes, chapter one, and this is supposed to be like two, three, four, and then five, okay? These are in a specific order. Um, same thing for part B. Uh, you can even go down to chapter one, and you see that uh, it has 1.1 and then 1.4. Those are in order. If it was 1.4 and then 1.1 and then like uh, 1.3, that's not really, that's not an order. So it would not be considered an ordered tree. Okay. Uh, that, and this is, you just need to understand this because later um, we'll come back to the definitions when we talk about other trees. So conversely, an unordered tree is one of the children of a node aren't in any particular order, okay? Or like the order doesn't matter. So if we take a look at the tree that we've been looking at, uh, electronics are us, is the root node, and has four children. And these are not, these can be in, you could rearrange these in any way, and it's not gonna affect um, the outlook of the tree, okay? It's not going to make a difference because manufacturing, purchasing, sales, and R&D are all under electronics are us, okay? That's all that matters is that they're on the same level and the children of electronics are us. That is all that matters, okay? So I'm gonna revisit one more time, calculating the depth and the height. If we take a look at depth, again, it's number of ancestors of a node other than itself, okay? So ancestors are all the nodes above the node we're looking at that are connected, that are connected to it. So let's look at another different one. Let's look at TV. Okay, so TV has two ancestors, manufacturing and electronics are us. So we would say depth of TV equals two. And let's what we could do, let's do sales. So we can say the depth of sales, please don't mind my terrible handwriting with PowerPoint. Um, depth of sales 
is equal to one, all right? Because you don't look at the node itself. You just look at all the ones above it, and that's what that means, okay? And again, you could say like zero, you can note all the levels and the depths are gonna match up if you uh, line it like this. So electronics are as being the zeroth level. You could do it that way, but it's not really attuned to the definition of calculating the depth, all right? But it doesn't really matter to be honest with you. Um, and then height is the maximum depth of a tree. So sales, depth of sales is not the maximum depth because it is basically it's the lowest, um, the lowest node uh, at the lowest level, or the lowest level node is typically where you're gonna find the maximum depth of a tree. And then that also, it means that the height is gonna be the same. So the depth of TV is two. It's an external node on the lowest level. So the height is also, of the tree, is also gonna be equal to two, okay? And when we get into coding all these things, um, you can actually use recursion, if you understand what that is, to calculate this, all right? And we can go into that later. Okay, so this is, um, these are the general terminologies of a tree, and you need to just understand these. You don't need to, you don't need to understand them 100%, okay? Just, we'll, we're gonna keep, practice, keep practicing, looking over these. When we get into more uh, tree, when we get to different trees like binary search tree, AVL trees, splay trees, red black trees, you know, these are kind of, these are all gonna be using the same terminology, okay? With, well, added ones as well, but they all have the basic um, understanding, okay? Uh, so I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to, you know, help you understand a little bit more. All right, and I'll see you next time.